Hardware Assisted Debugging is the name of the talk that he, Philip Casgren, hello Philip. Hello. Has just given here at NS, NS Spain, the second edition. Uh, he's the lead software developer at Lightspeed. And I'd like to ask you, what's your uh, job nowadays here at, at Lightspeed? So at Lightspeed, uh, as lead software developer, I develop all the client software. Um, Lightspeed is a point of sale. Yeah. So if you have a shop, uh, small, medium, even large, and you sell things that have an inventory, yeah. uh, like um, clothing, or uh, bikes, bicycle parts, or car parts, or something, that anything that you want to know, how many dresses, how many shoes, of how many colors, where they are in the store, Lightspeed is really good at that, and it allows you to manage your whole store using just Macs. So it looks really nice, and it's a nice cache register to have an iMac, and it works with all of the scanners, and uh, people really like Lightspeed. And I work on the client software, so what you see on the Mac. Okay. Yeah, so there's a big team that works on the, on the back end, but, the, uh, but what I work on is what people see. So. Um, you and your talk just, you just have given today here, uh, you use this Arduino. Correct. Why? Because Lightspeed last year, the software had a big problem, which was after up at least an hour, but sometimes up to six hours, you would type and it would stop recognizing that you type. You could only quit the software and relaunch it. And that's obviously a big problem when you're in a store, people are waiting in line. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I have to quit my Lightspeed and restart. So that was a big problem. Um, our QA never found the problem because you have to type for hours for it to show up. So I came up with a solution to use this Arduino board to simulate a hardware keyboard, not just, um, not just typing with uh, software testing, yeah. but typing with, a, this really behaves like a keyboard. It plugs via USB and it looks like a keyboard and mouse and it sends keystrokes and we would make it uh, run through the software, create products, create customers, save them, uh, and then keep going for hours and hours and hours, hopefully until it shows the bug. And that was the idea behind using a very cheap Arduino board as opposed to a person who would type for hours and hours and hours before they would reproduce the bug. And if they, because if they did that, not only would they be very, very sad, but it would also, their hands would hurt. <laughs> so this is a much better solution. And that's what I demoed today. Mm -hmm. So, well, maybe this question is repeating the same that you have, have just already, already said, but how, why are you, you know, I mean, why this relationship between Arduino and debugging? It's a very good question. There's a, when we when think about debugging, we think about just inside the machine, just the software. Yeah. But sometimes, it, Lightspeed, the older version, also had a problem with a mouse. One magic mouse, the one that, you, that has no button on it, yeah. could crash the app. And we didn't know why, but it, we knew it was a hardware problem. So this, we thought it would be a hardware problem. There's... A, I could get a keyboard and maybe a robot to press some keys on the keyboard, yeah. but that's a complicated setup. It can mess up, it can change, it's harder to program uh, an actual robot, whereas this is just a programmable keyboard and it's super cheap and it's easy to program for anyone to try. Um, to, you can use Arduino boards to make so many things, but this one happens to also behave like a keyboard, which was essentially for, uh, what, essential for the debugging we were doing. Okay, well, so we encourage everybody to use this Arduino and test within. And well, many thanks, uh, Philippe, for showing us this, this, this little uh, Arduino invent <laughs> you're yeah. making. I did not invent this. It's yeah, made yeah. by Arduino in Italy. I and know. I salute the people in Italy. <laughs> and this one is called the Leonardo. Yeah. And you've, they've made a newer one since, but they're super inexpensive and they're a lot of fun to play with for everyone. Okay. So thank you, Philip, and see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.